Also new to ZBrush 2020 is the import and export option. So in the old days, you had to go into Z plugin and you have to go, I mean, you can still do it if you want to. You have FBX import export, you have 3D Print Hub, which has STL import export. You still have available to you Subtool Master. You can go in here to multi append and that'll import multiple OBJs. You can go over here to export and that'll export multiple OBJs uh, from your subtool over here. So to load up something, let's hit the comma key. Let's go over here to our tool menu and we'll double click the demo soldier here and we'll hit the comma key to go out of our light box. So if I want to export this as any format, I can go over here to export now. And you see we have a drop down. So by default, it's going to be OBJ. And if it's OBJ, it's going to just export the selected subtool. However, if you go over here to say FBX, and I'm just going to throw this right on my desktop here. We'll just leave it at demo soldier. And I go to save. It's going to bring up the FB or FBX export options. So we can tell it I want to export just the selected, and that's just going to do that selected one. The visible, if you have any turned off, it'll go ahead and leave those behind. Uh, or you can make sure and just get all of them. Uh, I usually leave this on visible. You can choose which format, F FBX year, that you want. If you want binary or ASCII. Um, this is where, if you want to export tries, in this case, like if I'm exporting a low res, I don't want to turn on tries. You can also export your layers as blend shapes, which is really cool. And also over here, in your Z plugins, you'll have a thing called Maya Blend Shape Master you can use as well. You can say Y up if you want to embed your maps. Uh, smooth normals, if you're exporting high reses, I would definitely suggest turning smooth normals on. That's really going to reduce your file size. Uh, turning tries on on your high res may reduce some processing time downstream when you start baking, like in Painter, for example. But it's also going to really increase your export time. So, you know, weigh that. Uh, but smooth normals, you know, on your low res, you can say if you want it smooth or not, how much uh, how much of that smoothing you want it to do. So again, if you're exporting 5 million polygons out of ZBrush, I would have smooth normals on. It'll make your file size a lot smaller. All right, here's going to be the file format for the diffusive normal maps, and then the file format for your displacement maps. You can say if you want to export cameras, or if you want to export only your cameras, and then smoothing levels, polygroups as mats, and, and then polygroups as selection sets. So if any of this makes sense to your workflow, go ahead and do it. Usually I just do visible, binary, smooth normals and say OK. That'll go who, go ahead and write out your FBX. And the thing about FBX is it's going to keep all of your file names. It's going to keep any poly paint, vertex color information. Uh, I don't think it's going to keep any creasing. But I believe if you export as a Maya file, or you use GoZ to go into Maya, it might. Uh, but anyway, if we go out of edit mode and we say always switch, hit control N, let's go ahead and grab a polymesh 3D here. We're going to go to import, and then we have that demo soldier FBX on our desktop now. Uh, we can just double click that, and then we can say, okay, we're importing an FBX. It already knows we are. So here's our import options. This is fine. Hit OK. Do, 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 do. There we go. So here's our imported FBX. Go ahead and drag it out of canvas, go into edit mode, and you can see it's nearly identical. I mean, of course, you are going to lose some ZBrush specific stuff, like if you had dynamic subdivisions. Uh, set to anything specific or anything like that. But again, it's keeping all your file names or your subtool names, I should say. So a pretty cool format. But if you go in here to export, there's a lot of more, a lot of more formats you can export as. Uh, like we mentioned before, OBJ, you got your STL in here, you got your Maya, and you don't have to go over here anymore to your Z plugin area to export as an STL or an FBX, for example.